Why am I <clears throat> volume so low? <laughs> Are you ready? I think so. It's just that's, that's hitting 12. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Namely 90. Wow. The podcast that takes you back to the time before smartphones, Google, and Y2K. Join your hosts as they relive the pop culture that shaped a generation and the parts that many people wish they could forget. Listen in to the conversation about how the decade defined those who spent their childhood there and how it shaped them as adults. So... Turn down the grunge and dial up the internet. Let's get started. It's time for Namely 90s. That's right. You're listening to Namely 90s. My name's Andrew, and over there's Brandon. That's you can find me. us online at Namely90s.com or on Instagram and Blue Sky, where you can now DM us at Namely 90s. Uh, YouTube every Monday at youtube.com slash at namely nineties. And if you'd like to support the show, head over to patreon.com slash at nope slash namely nineties to sign up for one of our support levels. Yeah. Uh, Blue sky has DMS now, so you yeah. can slide into them. Fun. Uh, sliding, sliding into second. You can insert first. yourself into someone's DMS. Insert. DMS. Anyway, um, I, I don't know where you wanted to go with that one. Hey, what's up? Yo, we're here. What's up? Is it clear that we just need to fill time? <laughs> <This fight? laughs> oh, man, I'll tell you what. Oh, I mean, it sounds like you just come off of work and I <clears throat> was lazy most of the day, but I, I, I went I went on disc golf and uh, then nice. napped after returning and I'm still tired i guess i don't know i I clearly i'm dying well good news i've i've booked airfare to come down to california to see cool. you and others um i was able to get tickets for myself and kayla for 22 dollars i've been wow. traveling for work a lot so i had like points to use nice um, that, that was pretty cool yeah it's that, gonna be fun we're gonna do a little tour of california that sounds terrible in, it is we are going Let's see, we're going to be in Los Angeles area. We're going to be going to La Crescenta, Covina, uh, Huntington Beach, mm-hmm. Villa Park, uh, Marietta, which sounds and looks terrible based mm-hmm. on the location. There's a disc golf course there. And then, of course, uh, your locale. So it's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun. So mostly SoCal. Um are you going to visit our old friend Chip Foos while in Huntington Beach? No, I think he had a... a Did he get canceled? Well, he's a, he's a philanderer, and his show got like put on the air three or four more times. Like They kept bringing it back, and then uh-huh. apparently they kept canceling it because he kept like sleeping with people on the show. <laughs> so, which, I don't know if he's still there, uh, but no, I'm not going to go there. Although, isn't that in Huntington? Yes, which is why I asked, yeah. are you going to go No, see my our, friend lives out there now, so I'm just going to go visit friend, him. Chip Foos. Are you going to stop at uh, Disneyland? I doubt it. There's a we only have like in front of six days. And we have to see a lot of people. It's a lot of time to, or not a lot of time to hit all of those cities. No, no, it's not. So that's going to be interesting. But yeah, um, that'll be fun. So looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, I have, have fun doing that. Um, I'll be out of town. No, <laughs> <laughs> maybe we can do a, a in person recording again. Uh, I mean, you'll have to bring microphones, cables. Well, we made it work last time somehow. We did, we did, and we could. I do have two computers. We now. did, we could, we shall. What? I just, I do, okay. We can just get one of those blue Yeti mics and all sit around it talking. Yeah, I mean, Kayla would obviously have to be on the episode as well since she'll be here. So I don't think I have the mics for that. Let's all just get, let's just get three lapel mics that we'll hold in our hands. Oh, no, we'll right just idea. pass around one lapel mic. I do have a lapel mic. 
and I might. I am a kidding about that, by the way. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Don't you have one of those Zoom things? Do I have a Zoom thing? Yeah, but that also requires you to to plug microphones into it. So yeah, one can, cable and one mic. That's not bad. I, I can pack that. Yeah, and I guess one of you could use my lapel mic. Yeah, it's gonna be great. You're and, gonna love it. And then I'll just be over in my corner while you guys are <laughs> over wherever. Uh, yeah, that'll be fun. I've changed. Uh, I've changed the layout of my recording space. If you have. Oh, noticed. nice. I'll be able to see it. Um, you can give me a pencil that I can like bang on the counter repeatedly. <laughs> that was funny. Um, and maybe we can get sushi and I can almost throw up again. That was that was exciting. Well, we could take you to the good sushi place this time. Yeah, no, but like now, we now, that now, good now steakhouse, that I couldn't eat. Now that you've graduated uh, from that. Well, I, I mean, there's a do you do Peruvian? Yeah. You know, we used to have a place in um Moscow, Idaho called Sangria, and it was a sort of Peruvian place. Did you know good. Peruvian food has influences from Japan? Uh, yes, because I feel like there was soy sauce in the saltado, mm, mm-hmm. which yeah. is like the French fry thing with the steak and the other stuff. <clears throat> I never understood sauteing French fries in liquid, though. Like, that doesn't sound good. Mm. Um, <clears throat> well, there, there's a fun new Peruvian place that opened up. Uh, although it's super expensive relative to literally everything else. Do they have trying to keep things affordable? Do they give you like a green condiment on your table? Mm, Not on the table. Mm. Cause the place sangria in Moscow, Idaho Mm. always give you a little bowl of this like little green sauce. And it was like, it tasted like extract of iceberg lettuce with Serrano pepper in it. It Mm. was like the weirdest best sauce ever. That place sadly has closed. That's too bad. Too many health code violations. Yeah, probably. I was oh, speaking of which I went to my subway by work recently mm-hmm. and um, yeah, because they got upgraded from an OK food safety rating to a good food safety rating. Um, I got the so you had to celebrate the elite chicken bacon ranch mm-hmm. and what, it looked what, terrible. And it tasted it, OK. What makes it elite? I have no idea. Oh, it's because it's like the whole Subway series thing where it's like mm-hmm. sports themed sandwiches for some reason. But is it it's it's a different entity than the chicken bacon ranch ranch, though, isn't it? There's I don't know. It else. seemed the same to me. Weird. But it was like edible. Um, yeah. So I didn't die of food poisoning, which was great. Yeah. Healthy, healthy. I mean, that's obviously the most healthy sandwich at Subway. The uh cut up chicken pieces yeah. and bacon and uh ranch no one out subs the way wait <laughs> that's not the slogan um so while we still have time to fill uh the last week or whenever it was um they dropped a new trailer for the upcoming beverly hills cop 4 or oh, yeah. whatever it's called axel axel f on netflix yeah. Coming out in July, uh, made you watch it. Thoughts? Mm-hmm. Um, first of all, I feel like they managed somehow to mess up the song. Yes. Uh, what else? Well, um, there was a second song. Was oh no, that's a different trailer. Uh, Judge Reinhold. Every time he's in something, I just think of the weenie whistle um, <laughs> monologue or whatever in from, from Santa Claus. The Santa Claus. Uh, notably, didn't seem that funny. And also, like the thing is, the trailer is supposed to be the funnier parts. Not not super funny. Um, and I liked the I don't, clown car crack. Yeah, you know, they had like a BMW i three or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. And then uh, I'm not like a huge Joseph Gordon Levitt fan, but mm-hmm. well, I'll give it a try. Yeah, I mean, I like. I thought JGL did a good job in the clips that we saw in the trailer. Like yeah, he definitely. He seems like the Judge Reinhold character from the previous three movies. Um, yeah, kind of straight laced, but with a flair, you know, good, uh, good, good surrogate character, good, good self insert character. I know you love that term <laughs> self insert, <laughs> uh, but yeah, okay, I'm a child. Uh, it did, I mean, 
so like intre- one interesting thing I know is that when they were originally going to do Beverly Hills Cop 4, when they first started talking about it back in, I don't know, 2018, um, it was going to be like a, a, a father and son buddy cop type movie hmm. um, where his offspring was a son. But now in this trailer, we see that he has a daughter instead that's living in L.A. So. Hmm. Um, I think Eddie Murphy might have been funnier in the Shrek movies hmm. than in this trailer. I mean, that's fair. It's was concerning. he not funny in those movies? Well, you there's two types. Them more no, there were, he was I. fine. That's my point. But there's two types of trailers. There's the trailer where they show all the funny parts, and that's concerning because then there's none left for the movie. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if they're just like downplaying it or if it's just like soft writing, but it might just be soft writing. It is a fourth entry into the franchise. And I don't think the Beverly Hills Cop movies were ever like ha ha funny. They were like the first one I felt like was I didn't watch the second uh, that's, or third, but I, I enjoyed the first one and did have a like a couple of moments where I laughed out loud, but not like, you know, the whole yeah. the whole time. But it wasn't like it, it's it's a cop movie plus a comedy like it's not like sure. it's a comedy cop movie it's not like the other guys a cop or, movie. um hot fuzz yeah hot fuzz yeah not funny a few shock value moments but great movie yeah oh well, i laughed during that one yeah i mean not not the whole time but yes uh, i laughed really hard the first time i saw um the other guys at various points that's and a pretty it, funny movie that's the correct one right it's not because I always confuse that with the other one that sounds similar. The other guys is Will Ferrell and Marky Mark. Yeah, that's what I thought. And a bunch of other famous people. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson, Dwayne Johnson. Uh, who else? Rob Riggle, is that his name? Yeah. Yeah, he's in that. In the face. Oh, Damon Wayans is in that. Oh, really? Uh, oh, Michael Keaton, who keeps making TLC references. But he doesn't realize right. it. He's the, and he also he's has the, a second job at Bed Bath & Beyond. Isn't he the chief? Yeah, he's like the chief. Yeah. <laughs> he also works at Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh, uh, anyway, classic movie. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, speaking of classic movies, um, classic cop movies, uh, and spiritual, uh, honestly, spiritual successor to, to Beverly Hills Cop, kind of. Uh this week, if you've seen the title of the episode, we're talking about bad boys, bad boys, bad boys. Um, mostly because Puffy's been in the news lately. No, yeah, um, because uh, the the new Bad Boys movie comes out today, and technically it's the fourth fourth entry in the series. Mm-hmm. But there's like a spinoff movie too that I I saw, but it, they don't count. Anyway. Uh, I thought we'd do a boot, boot or reboot, Andrew. Yes. Have you seen Bad Boys 1? It's been a long time, but yes. Um, I think I've I, seen t- three. Is three the one where they like are undercover at a KKK rally at the beginning? Uh, or is that two? It's two or three. I don't remember. Yeah. Um, is well, two, two, I think we saw in theaters. Is this one the one where they drive the Hummer like through that weird like shanty town or is that also two or three that's two. Oh gosh it was a good movie um yeah but it's been a long time since i've seen one i know my brother liked this movie but i was like too young to watch it yeah i don't know if uh, i've seen all of one and, like um, looking back on it but yeah um it'll be interesting to see what uh what the difference between pre-slap and post-slap will smith is like uh well i mean they did have to delay the latest movie due to that so well i guess the good news is that whatever he was kicked out of the Academy, but there is no chance that this will win any kind of Academy award. So it doesn't really matter. True. All right. Uh-oh. I need to what? full my screen. There we go. You ready for this? You ready for this? Okay. Every time, every time this is a long trailer. So that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Sorry. We'll probably have to cut it up a little bit. Crime. 
Is the there a Miami sign? It was Marcus Burnett. I believe so. Like, the, I think you see it in like Vice City. Mike Lowry. It's got the great voiceover guy. It was the ultimate nightmare. This was our career bus. The ultimate nightmare. Just do what you do, only faster. Okay, just want to stop it there. Did you know yeah. that it's from the producers of Top Gun and Beverly Hills Cop? <laughs> AKA, that's is that Jerry Bruckheimer? I guess so. Did he write Who both of those? Owns the uh, the Seattle Kraken, or mostly or partially. Didn't know that. Uh, yeah. Um, I feel like I did know that. I didn't when I saw this. So um, I was like, but this was not directed by Tony Scott, who did direct uh, Top Gun. Correct. Um, who yeah. is one of my favorite directors. Rip and, to the max. Um, we're just going to run. We're just going to run the trailer for unless at some point we feel like and stopping. Run it, run it and run it. I'll just talk over it. Well, yeah, I'm just, you know, I, I want to see what YouTube got against us. So let's go. Let's, let's. do this right. No gunshots. No dead bodies. Will Smith just slaps all the bad guys. Correctly, the last couple dead bad guys belong to you. You ain't even trying to compare body counts. Why? Uh, should I keep going all day? I'm out. I'm out. No, this case. We got 72 hours before God, the FBI the and DA walk in here and shut us down. You know you drive almost slow enough to drive Miss Daisy. Miss Daisy reference. Okay. Classic Will Smith line. Mm-hmm. This witness. You, you, you ain't with the bad guys now. You with the cops. It's a tail, Leone. That is tail, Leone. Which she looks so different with the uh, the dark, dark hair. Dark hair? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Martin Lawrence's uh, comedy is always funny as it is. Yeah, very. Wow. Too much bass in your voice. That scare white folk. Martin Lawrence. Scares white folk. We can borrow some brown sugar. <laughs> you see, you you so wrong, you. Sir. The law will be served. Freeze! Oh, dramatic. Uh, mm-hmm. Justice oh. will be done. Also, like. 90s trailer where they show you everything that happens in the movie. And boys will be boys. Bad boys. I like this is a no what holds barred do? crazy action bad fest. I remember this commercial or that part of it. <laughs> Featuring music by Jewel. No, that didn't say that. <laughs> That'd be funny though. <laughs> um, so those of you that don't know, and for some reason we're out of extends for the month, which uh I got a few extends left for the month. Hey, oh, um, it's a penis joke. Yeah. Now for our <laughs> recording, I don't know why it must have counted the two separate meetings for, uh, anyway, you don't need to hear that listener. Um, yeah, bad boys is 1995 American buddy cop action film, um, directed by Michael Bay and oh, I forgot about that. directorial debut, um, pr- produced by Don Simpson and Jerry Brockheimer. Stars Martin Lawrence and Will Smith as two Miami narcotics detectives. Um, this blurb from IMDb says two hip detectives protect a witness to a murder while investigating a case of stolen heroin from the evidence storage room from their police precinct. Tuh. Nice, yeah. nice. Um, yeah, and I think it's a long movie. I think it's over two hours. Is it? Oh, wow. That what do you say? Longer than I thought. Um, that's what they said, but yeah, uh, uh nice. one hour, 59 minutes. So. Yeah. That's more or less two hours. Uh, here is another long trailer over yeah. two minutes. Mm-hmm. Let's go in a world. Mike, this storm belly. And we got the, Things the goatee mustache back. We're gonna be tested. Just know you are good. Tonight, tonight. 
boys. If he's seeing this, I'm probably dead. Oof. Whoever gave the order yeah. to kill me. Martin Lawrence's box. voice got weird. He kind of got next. Tracy Morgan. I don't know what happened. Should be careful. Hmm. You yeah, I can see that. He also kind of filled out like Tracy Morgan. With being framed. But wasn't hit by a bus or whatever. Right. It's just us. No backup. We got two suspects. Lowry and Burnett. The damn thing unbelievable fight. female Everybody supporting character. The on the outside. The house on the inside. Y'all are some terrible fucking fugitives. Put a bounty on them. They'll have it coming from cops. Cartel. And every gang in the city. The bounty is dead or alive. I take the three in the front. You take the six in the back. Oh no, the fuck you not. He sounds kind of drunk. Oh, you hit? No, like jelly beans. Nobody likes that shit. These dirty pops uh. attacked our families. We're not losing today. Huh. I mean, nasty, Mike. Oh, oh city, city, bang, bang, motherfucker. <laughs> Be gone, Gator. I rebuke you. See, Mike? That's how you command the universe. No, oh, jeez. Okay, um... That motherfucker racist, Mike. Go. That motherfucker racist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I feel like you lose an arm. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Well, instance. but it's comedic, you know? Yeah, yes, it's a comedically racist alligator in the sewer. Okay, uh, um, let's give a synopsis of that one. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, Bad Boys Ride or Die is the upcoming American buddy cop action comedy uh, directed by Adel and Bilal. Uh, who? Uh, they did the Batgirl movie. Um, that oh, okay. never got That was wow, so bad that Warner Brothers didn't release it. Okay. Uh, pissing off a lot of people. Um, it was written by Chris Bremer and Will Beal. Uh, the synopsis is detectives Michael Lowry and Marcus Burnett investigate corruption within the Miami PD when their late captain Conrad Howard is posthumously accused of being involved with the Romanian mafia but a step but a setup turns them into fugitives forcing them to work outside the law in order to solve the case um, this also re- features the return of Vanessa, <laughs> Vanessa Hudgens Alexander Ludwig, Paolo Nunez, uh, or pa- Paola Nunez, uh, Jacob Scipio, C- 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 uh, Joe Penti- Pantoliano, and DJ Khaled. That was all just to get to DJ Khaled. Um, uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like the newer one kind of feels like a little bit of like a Netflix movie or like a streaming service movie. Like the lighting definitely looks like that. (laughs) It doesn't feel very polished. The music Mm. kind of felt out of place. It it looks like they're trying to be, it looks like they're trying to do Michael Bay, but on a Netflix budget. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to say the thing I was going to say because it'd be offensive. Um, Yeah. So what are your thoughts? Um, I mean, the original is a classic. I, I mean, not to be nineties about this, but, um, dark haired Tia Leone does something for me. I I don't know. Like since I was a kid, uh, she, she is striking that way and I would not recognize her otherwise uh, as Tia Leone. I feel bad saying it because I'm worried there's like a medical issue, but Martin Lawrence got mm-hmm. like real weird. Mm-hmm. Like mean, it's very it's, noticeable. I don't know if it's just age or, you know, he actually sounded like he was drunk. Like, I don't know if something was going on there. It's been 30 years. No, I, I get that. But like, and I feel he like he aged a lot in the last five years or something, you know? Yeah. But he also, like he was, he, he kind of looked like that in the last one. Um, in the 2021 um but it was noticeable that 
it wasn't it wasn't right yeah but it might just be like post covid not True. wanting to get back into shape um anyway so yeah do i have to decide which decide boot or reboot at this point correct well i'm gonna go and this is rare for me i'm gonna go with boot uh, the first movie looks excellent. Like I watched that trailer. I'm like, I kind of want to watch this movie now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Personally, I think the second trailer tries too hard. Yeah. The, the second one's definitely like, and I didn't see any of, well, I didn't see Vanessa Hudgens or DJ Khaled in the trailer, which are, I guess are the only people I recognize from this list of returning actors from the bad boys for life. Um, yeah. It's just Sony. I mean, the, the, the bad boys for life did good enough to get a, another sequel. And I just feel like at, at this point they're out of ideas to keep them as like, it's also a problem. Like you had Michael Bay, Jerry Bruckheimer. It's directed mm-hmm. by nobody written by nobody along with nobody. It's uh, like, I mean, it's just <laughs> these new director, the new directors for this are kind of up and coming. So, the, but this I, might I ruin just, their career. I'm going to throw this out there, but like, mm-hmm. Two directors isn't a thing. Uh, Occasionally it's a thing. Occasionally it works. Like for example, the matrix directors. Yeah. But like for the most part, it's like there's no, there are when you ride on the bus, there aren't two bus drivers. You know what (laughs) I mean? True. So just saying, just saying. Yeah. Have one direction. You're a one direction fan is what you're trying to say, Andrew. Yes. One D is all I need. All, all I need. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, there you have it. Um, boot. And now let's go to Brandon for the Namely 90s Minute. Welcome back to Namely 90s Minute. Every week we look back at a culturally relevant show, movie, or piece of pop culture that probably helps stoke the algorithm. This week, in honor of Bad Boys Ride or Die, we're looking back at the movie that started the franchise, Bad Boys. Bad Boys is a 1995 buddy cop action film and the directorial debut of the Transformers director. Starring the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Big Mama's House, the mom from Jurassic Park 3, the Russian defense minister from Goldeneye, Michael Jordan's wife from Space Jam, Catherine Willows from CSI, Uncle Eddie from Grounded for Life, Christopher Moltisanti from The Sopranos, Cypher from The Matrix, and Tig Traeger from Sons of Anarchy. The story starts with lifelong friends and Miami police narcotics detective Wild Wild West and Blue Streak, who seized $100 million of mafia heroin and then had it stolen from their department. Internal Affairs suspects it was an inside job and threatens to shut down the entire department if it's not recovered in the next 72 hours. Men in Black asks one of his ex-girlfriends to look into anyone in the criminal underworld who is newly rich, so she gets her and her best friend hired as escorts who get hired by Eddie, a crooked former cop. They get interrupted by Eddie's boss, a French drug kingpin, and the ex-girlfriend gets murdered while her best friend escapes. She calls into the station while iRobot is out, but she insists on only talking to him, so Captain makes Martin from Martin pretend to be him since he knows she's never met either of them in person. So for the rest of the movie, they have to pretend to be each other, causing hijinks, as one is a family man and the other is a rich playboy. They track the French kingpin to a club and end up in a car chase covered by a news helicopter, which tips off Black Knight's wife that he wasn't on temporary reassignment in Cleveland. She then ambushes the three of them at Hitch's apartment, which tips off Madam Secretary about them switching places, but she then gets kidnapped by the Frenchman. The Bad Boys 2 figure out that their department secretary was being blackmailed by Eddie and the Frenchman, which is how they got the H in the first place. They then head to the airport to stop the Frenchman and dispose of his henchman before he tries to flee. The Legend of Beggar Vance shoots him in the leg and arrests him, but as they all turn their backs to leave, the Frenchman pulls out a hidden pistol and then gets shot dead by Shark Tail, letting the three of them get back to their normal lives. And we never see Tia Leone again in this series for some reason. And that's... Bad Boys in a namely 90s minute, more or less. And now back to the show. All right. Uh, so to keep with the theme of the episode, we're going to be uh, looking at a 2020 BuzzFeed quiz probably put out for the last um installment in the bad boys franchise called it's time to find out which quote unquote bad boys character you are why 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 Um, not i suppose yeah and if you want to play along with us um so you can find the link to this quiz uh for buzzfeed in the uh comments comments no the uh episode shout outs shout outs um so starting off choose an actor Ice Cube, Kevin Hart, Jackie Chan, or The Rock? 
Um, mm. I'm going to go. Mm, the and, it's Rock. Just, and it's just choose an actor, not like. Why? Just choose one. Yeah, just choose one. I'm going one. with The Rock. If we're going for acting chops and you've picked The Rock, I'm going to go with Jackie Chan. Fair. Yeah. It was between The Rock and Jackie Chan for me. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I like Ice Cube in like Friday movies, but in like police procedural, the Kevin Hart ones, not, not, not my favorite. Yeah. Although the one with Kevin Hart and The Rock is kind of funny where it's like one of them's in the CIA or whatever. Uh, I thought you were referring to uh, the animated super dog movie with uh, Kevin Hart and nope. uh, Dwayne Rock. There's a movie where Dwayne Johnson like was in the CIA or something. And then Kevin Hart is like his high school friend. It's a, I, I watched part of it. The two. Okay. Fairy. Which country would you prefer to live in Morocco, America, Spain, or Brazil? So your, your go. Um, as terrible as it is here I would pick Spain (laughs) (laughs) Um, realistically I'm a bit of a homebody Um, boy um, let's say I didn't have to work right yeah I'd probably go Brazil although the question wasn't what where would you want to vacation no, but uh, I know that. I see one with Brazil. I'm going with Brazil. Okay. Nah, eh, yeah, Brazil. Choose a rapper. 50 Cent, Cardi B, Lil Wayne, or Eminem. Who's releasing a new album? We could have done an episode on Eminem. Yeah. Um, hmm. I get to go first. Yay. You uh, yeah, I'm going to go Eminem just for sheer talent. I'm going to go blap, 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 and pick Cardi B. Okay. <laughs> She's the one that says that, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, pick some international food. Indian food, Italian food, Mexican food, and Cuban food. A little mofongo there. Mofongo. Or is that Dominican? That's Dominican. Yeah, I think that's Puerto Rican or something. Puerto um, Rican. That's black beans and some rice. Uh, let's see. Oh gosh, this is a hard one. Mm. Just pick some international food. You're you gonna go first? Oh, it's my, my turn. Sorry. Yeah. Um. Ooh. I mean, I do like all of these foods. Um. But hmm. It's a lot of carbs in Italian. Food. Yeah. Not that I care about things like that. Um. You know, I, I made some, some, s- nope, that wasn't Indian, uh, Mexican food. I'm going to take Mexican food. <laughs> I'm going to go Italian. I like Italian because there's different regions of Italy and they have distinctive cooking styles that are quite varied. Mexican yes. food is to quote, uh, Richard Hammond, a plate of sick with cheese on it. <laughs> uh, that's American Mexican food. That's True. Tex-Mex. Yeah. Like authentic uh, Mexican is good, but. Yeah, Mexico does also have a varied culture across its uh, large country and regions and different types of food as well. Uh, I guess it's my turn. Yeah. How far would you go to protect someone that's not related to you? I would protect someone even if it meant death. I would protect someone to the best of my ability. I would only protect someone if I had no other choice. I wouldn't protect them at all. Hmm. Glad you get to go first in this. I would... Protect someone to the best of my ability. How far would you go to protect someone that's not related to you? Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I w- would see if there's some sort of I don't know police officer or uh, it's a so you wouldn't security, protect them all. good security guard. No, I would only protect someone if I had no other choice. Okay, fair, fair. Uh, what would you do for a Klondike bar? Would you kill a man? <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Uh, I mean, um, yeah, I, I would most likely protect the best of my ability if given no other choice, but I'm sure there's better choices than me. If that makes sense. Choose a drink, bourbon, beer, cocktail, or juice. Uh, where's my bourbon? 
bourbon for you. I choose cocktail. Yeah, that's a weird. I feel like I'm gonna be I'm gonna be tailing on it in this. Uh... I guess I mean I guess there are more than uh, two characters in this movie. That's weird though. Bourbon or olive beer, olive cocktails, or olive juice. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, you should be liquor. Yeah. What car would you want to drive? A Porsche, a Ferrari, an Aston Martin, or a Lamborghini? No specifics, just brands. Hmm. Probably an Aston Martin. Hmm. Yeah, that would have been mine too. Um. I mean, I kind of, I've liked Lambo since we were kids, but they are very unwieldy boat. Ferrari's things. a bit more understated. Yeah, like Porsche just makes pick, Volkswagen Beetles. If I had to, if I had to pick between like a, a La Ferrari and a Lamborghini, was it a Hurricane Gallardo Hur- or Hurricane Hurricane? Yeah, yeah, I would go with a La Ferrari. Okay, all right, that's not I a bad choice. Ferrari. Yeah. Uh, what would be your fashion style? And there's no text, just what appears to be a tuxedo, what appears to be a woman wearing Henry Winkler's clothes as the fawns in With Happy some Days. Light cleavage. Uh, a um, I would say a professor's attire, except also a woman. Um, With like, like a bolo tie. Yeah, and then um some douche wearing supreme uh <laughs> and also a leather jacket I it was Upreme. yeah it's it's a supreme who vest hoodie with a shirt under with a long sleeve shirt underneath that's rolled up and a leather jacket over uh, the shoulder unfortunately it's the supreme guy for me <laughs> <laughs> dang it uh i guess i'll be the woman with the jeans and leather jacket even though i haven't you worn. would be well, I, mean, um, I, I used to wear that like five years ago. Pick an iconic action scene. High speed car chase. Stepping in to save your partner at the exact moment the villain thinks they've won. Leaving a building seconds before it explodes or other. <laughs> <laughs> other. Uh, oh, that's funny. Um. Well, uh, l- lately I've been... I've been enjoying driving quickly through traffic, uh, listening to Eurobeat. So I um, guess I'll have to go with a high speed car chase. I think I'm, I'm for stepping in to save your partner in the exact moment the villain thinks they've won or other. Yeah. No. Other. Uh. Oh, pick a color. Um, this is you, but never mind. I can go. Uh, pick a color. What appears to be gray. What appears to be yeah. uh, black sand. Uh, textured white. <laughs> um, or a. Uh, let's call it a red. I wonder how choosing black or white affects the answer. <laughs> <laughs> or the in between gray tone. Uh, I'm going to go with. I like the black color. By the way, only one of these are a color. True. <laughs> what would you pick? Black? Uh, black. I went black. Um guess I'll go red. A what'd you get? Or uh hey, go? I got Marcus. Oh. I'm headstrong and passionate. I can have a bit of an attitude at times, but I'm caring and loyal. My family and friends mean the most to me, and I love my job. Uh, can you guess what I got then? If you uh, got, <laughs> I'm gonna go with Will Smith's character. I got Mike Lowry. You're wild, confident, and sometimes flirty. These are all <laughs> true of me. Yeah. Uh, you're also skillful, dedicated, and competent. Even though most people think you're a player. Clearly, you got your eyes set on one special person. Well, that's true. Hey, wow. of course, we're we, uh, you know, you know me, wilds, confident, the two main and flirty. flirty. Yeah. Um, but hey, we got the two main characters. Yeah. We're obviously official it, buddy cops. Yes. In a quiz about two main characters, we got the opposite one. So that that works out, right? 
You got that's, it. That's the way it's supposed to happen. Um, any final thoughts on Bad Boys? Um, well, that was a garbage quiz, but um, I'm going to probably go watch Bad Boys now. Yeah, I'm probably not going to watch I, three or four, though, but I'll probably watch two again. Yeah, I liked two. two I think two is like the peak it was uh, two always seems to be like the peak they like they figure out what the com- what comedy worked from the previous one what action worked build on that a little bit <clears> and then don't do anything with the franchise i might watch years. the new roadhouse before i'd watch the new bad boys <laughs> really that's a yeah. statement that's a statement um so you're not gonna go see that in theaters then no no nope. mm. um well there goes our sponsorship for the episode and that's it for this week's <laughs> edition of namely 90s remember you can find new episodes out every monday find us on instagram blue sky and youtube at namely 90s with a 90s and tell us what you want us to talk about on future episodes if you'd like to support the show please check out our patreon at patreon.com slash namely 90s also with a 90s finally you can also contact us through our website namely 90s.com Please subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, Audible, Bad Boys, Bad Boys, Pocket Cast, CastBox, iHeart, Good Pods, and wherever you get your podcasts from. I'm Brandon, that's Andrew, and we'll catch you next time. Is the Pocket Cast and Castbox new?